Let's jump right into the video today. I'm going to be showing you how I made a four wick and three wick candle using these pillar candles from Dollar Tree. So here is a list of the supplies I used for both candles. You can screenshot this if it's easier for you. And at the end of the video, I'll have a breakdown of the cost for both candles today. These are the fragrance oils I am going to be using today. I purchased them on Amazon. They came in a pack of six and I will link them in the description for you. If you are going to try this DIY, make sure to research candle safety. This video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a professional. I did my own research and I'm using safety precautions. The pots I am using are ceramic and heat safe. The wax in the Dollar Tree candles is paraffin. I wanted a large four wick candle for the holidays on a budget and this project worked really well for me. If you attempt this DIY, please do your research first. So these pots came from Ross and they do have a plug in the bottom where the hole is. If you find a pot with a hole, you can easily glue a penny or a quarter or some other object similar to those into the bottom to prevent the wax from coming through. So once the wax starts melting, I like to go in and push down the top part of the candle so it all melts together. Just be really careful when you do this as to not splash the wax out of the glass candle holder. So I just push down really easily only when it's ready so as you can see the one on the right of the screen here isn't quite ready yet the wax is still pretty hard so i'm not going to mess with it until it softens up a bit i don't have an exact time it took for the wax to melt but i want to say it was about 30 minutes So I'm going to go ahead and remove the wicks once the wax is melted. I will be reusing these wicks for the candles that I'm making today and I'm just using a wooden barbecue skewer to pull them out. So now that the wax is melted, I'm going to turn the stove off, leave the candles in there while I prepare the wicks. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue the wicks in. On the bottom of the wick, I go ahead and try to wipe off the excess wax. And then I'm just going to use my glue gun to glue them in. And I try to do it as evenly as possible. I don't get too close to the edge of the pot and not too close to the middle. And they don't always come out exactly even. This isn't, you know, candle science here or anything but I just do the best I can to get them in there and get them as even as possible. And then once the wicks are glued in, I'm going to use those same wooden barbecue skewers to wrap the wicks around and keep them in place when I'm pouring the wax. Once I get the wicks wrapped around the skewer, then I use little paper clips to hold the wicks in place so that they don't come unraveled off of the skewer. Once the wicks are secure, I go ahead and remove the candles from the pot. I'm going to add the fragrance oil into the wax here. I'm going to let them sit for about 30 seconds to a minute before I pour to prevent the center of the candle from sinking. Always leave a few inches of space between the top of the wax and your container. 
simply because if you wake up the next morning and the middle of your candle has sunk in some, you can literally melt some more wax and pour it over that and even it out. So definitely make sure you leave some space between where you're pouring the wax and the top of your container. I made one of these a few months ago. It actually went viral on TikTok. If you want to see that candle video, just go to Mad Mopper on TikTok. It is pinned at the top of my bio. That candle is still burning fine after several months, but it's not burning as even as an expensive candle would. Remember, we are dealing with Dollar Tree wax here. So here I am repeating the process I used for the four wick candle, but I am only using three wicks in a smaller container. I used 10 Dollar Tree pillar candles for the four wick and for the three wick I used five. Once poured, I will let both of these set overnight and show you the result the next day. For my DIYers out there, here is the cost breakdown for both candles. I obviously only used a small amount of the oils, but wanted to show the cost for the pack of six on Amazon in case you are interested. Now the size of the larger pot is six by seven, and the smaller pot is five by five. Being that the cost of the oils actually used is minimal, I saved a lot of money making these myself. Plus, you are able to choose containers that fit your decor aesthetic. 